Hey, hey, guitar world. This is Sean Halpin. I'm the design engineer on what you see here, which is the Gunas pick. Now, a lot of people look at this pick and they say, well, I have my favorite pick. And I've got one I've played my whole life. And I, uh, I don't want anything else. So let me just explain the theory here. So as an aerospace engineer and an automotive designer, uh, we, use three th we use one theory in locating parts and tooling, okay? And this guitar pick is your tool. There's no career in the world that has a plastic piece that's seven millimeters thick by one inch by one inch that they, their whole career revolves around this shape, except for guitar players, right? That is your, that is your tool, that is your computer, that is your hammer, that is your ax, that is your chainsaw, that is your computer, that is what generates revenue for you. So we thought, what if we rethink the guitar pick? What if we look at it like a real tool that people need to survive? The pick is a survival tool for many people. And without that pick, you may not even have a career, you may not be able to play for fun, you may not be able to do many things with it. So I said, Jordan, let's design a pick that doesn't slip, spin, or fall, or drop, okay? So if you look at the shape of this pick, it's designed with the engineering theory that we use in all of aerospace and automotive. Okay, when we design aerospace and automotive parts, we, we design them so that they, when they go into a tool, they can't move right or left, they can't move forward or at, aft, and they can't rotate. So we took all those theories of engineering and applied it to this shape. Now when you look at this pick, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. And there's a reason for that. We spent six months developing this pick with multiple prototypes until we came up with this version, okay? Now, if you look at the shape here of this pocket, okay? The pocket is designed so that when you hold the pick, the shape of your finger is going to prevent that pick from moving forward or backwards away from the, from the strings. Now, the fourth, the third element, so forward and backward are covered by the little pocket on the one side, okay? Now, how many guys have played with a pick and had the tip spin out of position and they're playing with the side of the pick? This pick is designed to not spin. So not only will it not move forward or aft, it will not spin in your fingers the tip will always be on the strings. Now, we studied hundreds and hundreds of guitar picks, and there wasn't one that had this theory in it. So what we did is we created a pick with the design and engineering theory of, of aerospace and automotive, and we made it. And uh, I have seen people pick this pick up, grab this pick, and say, this is revolutionary. No one has ever done this before. Now, it may take a little bit of time to get used to. You may have to play with it for two, four, six, or eight hours, but you don't have to use a death grip on this pick in your leads. So when you're doing your leads, you can, you can jam and relax your fingers. How many of you guys get like just tension in your fingers and thumb from gripping the hell out of that pick. This pick, you can relax your fingers, it's not going to spin, it's not going to slip, and it's not going to move. So this pick is designed for you to play professionally for a very long time in comfort. Now, I've been trying to figure out how to get this message out there, and, um, and I thought I'd put this video together. Uh, so everyone could understand what really went into developing this pick. You'd hear the thing, you hear stories about the new mouse trap, or you know, the the pet rock, or you know, other simple inventions. But this one is designed to change the guitar industry. 
And so once Jordan started playing with this pick, he was able to relax, he was able to play longer, and he was able to uh, be more accurate in his, in his picking. And everywhere I take this pick, people are blown away by it. So I just wanted to uh, talk about it. Okay, so I stopped the animation on the pick. Now, if you look at this pick, you'll notice this little bevel shape. And you'll notice that some of the most popular picks on the market have that bevel shape. So not only did we add it, but we put a little fillet around the edge so the string pops off that chamfer easier. A lot of the picks that have that bevel shape have a sharp edge right here. That sharp edge can make the, the pick um, can make the strings pop off of it uh, in a non-conform way. So we soften this edge, okay? Now, when you look at this pocket right here, okay, this is where we apply the design and engineering of aerospace and automotive, okay? So when your finger is in this pocket right here, this little ramp right here prevents the pick from moving backwards away from the string, okay? This ramp here, prevents the pick from moving towards the string. So your pick tip is always in the exact location that you want it. Now, it'll take a little while to get used to it, but you will find that with the tip in the exact location that you want it, you can play longer, you can play stronger, you can relax your hands, it won't spin, slip, or drop. Now, when, now I'm gonna look, now I'm gonna look at the other uh, the other side of it. Okay, so as we took care of the fore aft movement with the pocket, we now have a shape in here that won't allow this tip to spin out of position from the tip. So we think that we've, we've got a solution here that absolutely is unique. It's very different from what you've seen. Uh, you'll hold it and it will feel kind of funny at one point. But if you look at the pocket in the pit and the thickness in the center, the thickness in the center of this pocket is the exact same thickness as the tip of the pit at 0.7 millimeters. So when, <clears throat> so let me explain how this works. Okay. On top here, this is a traditional pick. And you've got a finger here and a thumb here. Now, the pressure between your finger and thumb, when you want a straight pick, intense gets intense. This is where the numbness and the fatigue and all the all the uh, uh, that comes from. When the harder you squeeze, the more accurate this tip location is. On this pick, because there's a ramp here and a ramp here, this pick stays in position better. Okay? So there's the rotation. You don't need to squeeze the pick hard because of this design. Now, at the front of the pick, you have the small ramp inside here. That is preventing the tip, the pick from going farther towards the string. This small ramp here prevents the pick from moving towards the string, so it's in the same place every time. This ramp at the back here, that prevents this tip from moving into the string. So we've got a relaxed finger and thumb. We've got the tip in the same location every single time. It cannot spin. It's always there. And the finger and the thumb hold the pick in the same direction every time. A traditional pick creates tension. You can't play as long. It, the tip can spin. 
It can slip out of your hands from getting sweaty. The G is molded into the pick to give it a, a footprint, to hold your finger or thumb in the same place. So this pick is the most designed and engineered pick in the history of music. I challenge you to play it for eight hours. If you aren't a better guitar player in eight hours, more precision, more accurate, more comfortable, can play longer, I'll buy them back. And I'll buy them back and I'll pay for shipping.